are we good? We're ready. Can I start? Yep. Any more instructions? No. Okay. <laughs> Hello, 11 o'clockers. How is everybody today? Good morning, everyone. Happy Advent. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. You're welcome. For what? Well, for letting me be the baby Jesus in the college skit today. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so proud. You usually tell me I can't be in the skit. Um, I thought we talked about this last year. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, big baby Jesuses with mustaches scare people. <laughs> well, I know, but that's why I was so surprised to get your letter in the mail this week. Letter? Dear Occupant, <laughs> that's me. The college kids call me that as a nickname. We do we not. <laughs> Dear Occupant, you've been selected to take part in a special opportunity. Just call this number. And so I did. And then Michaela answered, disguising her voice to sound like some guy with a big, strong Italian accent, <laughs> and she said, send us five dollars and we'll let you be the baby Jesus in the manger <laughs> tomorrow at church. <laughs> See, I got the message recorded right here on my phone. What? Let me hear that. It does not say, send me five dollars and I will let you be the baby Jesus in the manger tomorrow at church. Oh yeah, then what does it say? It says, Send five dollars and our money changers will let leave you in the lurch. I think it's part of that Ponzi scheme that guy was running here in town. I know. You know? Then and you sent the money anyway? Well, that's because Ponzi is the Italian word for baby. Oh. Cute little Ponzi. <laughs> and I get to be the Ponzi in the in the skit today. I'm so happy. Thanks, Michaela. Um Look at him, he, he's so happy, and, and today is the Sunday of joy. Just let him do it. And folks, when you uh, see him in the manger, just try not to be too alarmed. <laughs> but we're supposed to be thinking about the joys that come when any new baby is born. You know, when parents have a real baby, not a big hairy baby. Do you know the way a new baby smells and feels and sounds? It's amazing, even when it isn't the baby Jesus we're talking about. And since it's Advent, it is the baby Jesus we're talking about. <laughs> Whew, did we have to go for so much realism, Marvin? The hay in this manger, it smells like you got it out of a real cow shed. A very well-used cow shed. It's not the hay. It's me, sorry. You? Well, I was helping out at the fairgrounds in the cow barn this morning, you know, getting ready for the winter fair, and I didn't have time to stop and take a bath. Sorry. Okay then, so what do we do now? Well, you nuzzle me, and you say what every new parent says to every new baby. You say, look at that beautiful baby. I can't believe he's ours. <laughs> Now, say it. Aw, <laughs> oh, look at that big, hairy, I mean, beautiful, beautiful baby. I can't believe it. <laughs> now, call me your little Ponzi. But the Italian word for baby is bambino. I prefer Ponzi. <laughs> for a little baby, you sure are talkative, Ponzi. <laughs> Wait, here comes Mary. Finally. And I think she's going to do what every new parent does. She's going to nuzzle me. <laughs> no, she's going to sing a lullaby, a song of love to all babies, to the world. Because no matter who you are, no matter if you were born in a stable or if you smell a bit like one, you're right, Marvin. You can't feel anything but joy and hope and love when you're looking at a new life. Especially when that new life brings new life into the whole world. Jesus, born in Bethlehem.
Jesus on.